Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So it's nice to finally be able to bring you guys some good breaking news. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals out of the state of Louisiana has just overturned the bump stock ban. Let's talk about it. Hey, real quick, thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, a little bell notification to let you know when videos are coming out. And check out the main sponsor of this channel, which is the USCCA. They'll be linked down below. Absolutely the best membership you could ever have in your wallet. Let's get to it. So this particular issue has been heard by several courts across the country, and each one of them has upheld it in their own way. It uh, went before the Supreme Court. They decided not to hear it. It's been heard by the Tenth Circuit Court. They decided to uphold it. The Sixth Circuit Court, they decided to uphold it. It went down to the Fifth Circuit Court, and believe it or not, the three-judge panel actually upheld the ban as well. It wasn't until the Fifth Circuit went on bonk, which means the entire panel of judges uh, decided to take this on. It wasn't until then that it was overturned. So what does this mean for us? Well, first off, it means we got a pretty big win against the ATF who likes to take you know, certain items and redefine them so that they can then reclassify them and then subsequently ban them. And the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals basically said you can't do that. And so that's a pretty good win right there. Now, this is almost 100% going to be uh, appealed up to the Supreme Court. Now, I said earlier that the Supreme Court decided not to hear a case uh, on this particular topic. So why would they decide to hear it now? Well, it's because there was a general consensus amongst the circuit courts when this originally went up to the Supreme Court. You got different circuit courts that kind of all agreed that this ban should be upheld. Well, now we have another circuit court that has a different opinion than the other Supreme Courts. And when circuit courts start to disagree with each other, one, up, one upholds it, one overturns it, and now you have this you know, disagreement, that's when usually the Supreme Court will decide to step in to clarify the matter. So more than likely, the Supreme Court will end up hearing this. So I gotta be honest, for me, this has absolutely nothing to do with the stock. I never owned one, I really was never interested. What is important to me is the procedural steps that were taken in order to ban it. You're seeing a lot of it happen right now with you know other devices and other items that they don't like. They just simply reclassify it and they ban it. That's what they did here and that is really the subject at issue. So if we can get some clarification on that and maybe you know the little slap on the hand from the Supreme Court saying, hey, you can't simply you know, make regulations, make rule, make law on your own, that's what Congress is for, then that would be a big win across the board. Again, for me, it doesn't really have anything to do with the item itself. It has to do with how it got banned to begin with. So pending appeal, nothing really changes at this point. We know that it's going to be appealed. It depends on the Supreme Court and what the Supreme Court decides to do once that appeal actually makes it up there. Once they rule on it, that's that's it. That's that's where it's going to be final right there. So we'll see what happens in the future, but I wanted to give you guys that breaking news because again, this this is a big deal. It's it's about overreach. It's, you know, it's about definitions and redefining things and creating law when, you know, your bureaucracy is not there to create law. They're just there to simply enforce law that Congress creates. That to me is a pretty big deal. There's a lot of overreach right now, and hopefully this uh, you know, moves its way up and puts a stop to it. So I wanted to give you guys that good news tonight. Thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification to let you know when videos are coming out. You guys have a good one.